Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So, breaking news. Nowadays, we all consume a lot of quick vertical content. Whether it's on the Pioneer TikTok, which came out with the concept, or on Instagram, which is trying to copy them and by doing so, completely destroying its app identity, which was all about photography, the good old days. But anyway, today, if you want to create content on these platforms, you have to make vertical videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in Final Cut Pro. And before we start, if you enjoy the video and want to help me out, uh, you know what to do. All right, so I'm going to break this video in three parts. The first one, I'm going to show you how to create a vertical video. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to edit it. And in the third part, I'm going to show you how to export it. Let's get to it. All right, so we are in Final Cut Pro. First of all, my apologies for this noisy voice and if I just cough a little. Uh, I have COVID at the moment, so yeah. Anyway, so the first step to create a vertical video will be to create a new project. To do so, you can go to File, New Project. And here, so you can name your project whatever you want, right? So you can see here that by default the video format is in 4K, but we're gonna have to change that. And if you see on the list, Final Cut Pro is already offering a vertical uh, format right here. So you can click on that one. And if you go right below that, you have the resolution. So you have 720, 1080 or 2160, right? What we wanna go with here is the 1080 by 1920. Those vertical videos are made usually for, uh, you know, social media platforms such as uh, Instagram Reels, uh, TikTok, or even YouTube Shorts, right? For example, for Instagram Reels, uh, the best resolution is 1080 by 1920, and the best FPS or, or rate right here is 30p. So we're gonna create this project in 1080 by 1920, and as I shoot in 25 FPS, you know, it's a PAL format because I'm in France, in Europe, so I'm gonna leave it to 25 right here. Anytime you create a project, I would recommend using uh, the same FPS as you've shot your clip at. And if you don't remember, in Final Cut Pro it's pretty easy. You can just like select a clip right here, for instance. Go there in the inspector right here and go on the information tab and you're gonna see it right here. We're back here, uh, so I'll never touch the rendering. I leave everything standard, audio, stereo, you know, etc. And then I click OK. So this is our new project. And as you can see right here, uh, this is a vertical video. And now I'm going to move on to the editing part of it. To get the best results in terms of image quality, you want to flip your cameras around and record vertically. As an example, you can see that here I have different uh, clips, right, that I've shot vertically and that I have edited together. So now let's say that you do not have any uh, footage shot vertically. You only have footage that you've shot horizontally. So for example, let's say you have a project that as you can see, this one is purely made of clips uh, shot horizontally, right? As you can see right here, they do not fit into this vertical format we have, right? So what you're gonna have to do is to crop your image in order for it to fit the entire screen, right? To do so, what you can do is just select the clip, go right here to the crop tool. And as you come here to crop, you can see that Final Cut Pro gives you this little window, right? Which fits the, the format of the project we just have right here. So as you can see right here, if I click done right here, Final Cut Pro has cropped the horizontal clip we've had and transformed it uh, into a vertical clip. You know, that takes uh, the entire screen, right? And if you go back to the cropping tool, you can see that uh, by default, Final Cut Pro crops right in the middle of the clip but you are able to move it around, you know, just like for instance, in that case, I just want to have uh, her entire face centered, right? So I'm just going to move it around until I'm happy with it, click done, and this is well centered. A tip that I have here is if you do not want to have to crop each and every single clip one by one, right? What you can do is you can select, so we're gonna select these, not the first clip because we've already cropped it. And as we have selected all the clips we wanna crop, we're gonna go to modify and go to smart conform. So it's gonna take a little bit of time uh, to Final Cut Pro to analyze and to crop um, all of these clips. But the way that smart conform works is that Final Cut Pro is detecting what is I um, would assume the main subject of each clip and crop that clip uh, in order to have this subject in the center of the frame, right? For well, that one, if you click on it, you can also see the edges after you've used the smart confirm right here. For instance, this clip, I'd like to have the sun uh, right in the middle so it's not quite there yet. A quick tip here to reposition it uh, just and just moving it uh, horizontally. If you hold down the shift key, 
it's only going to move uh, your clip uh, sideways and not up or down right if you're not happy with how the smart confirm uh, cropped and reposition your clip you can always use this technique you know to just reposition uh, your clip the way you want it to all right another way to use uh, footage that has been shot horizontally on a vertical project as we have right here is to pile up different clips right i'm not sure how it's called maybe you can call it like a collage i'm sure you've already seen like instagram reels uh, like that it's it's kind of a trend you just have to pile up three uh, horizontal clips right and put them on top of each other to get this kind of results right I'm not going to get into too much details on how to do that. I might make a specific video on how to get this kind of format, you know, videos that uh, you see uh, more and more on Instagram. But I think it's just good to know that this is another option that you have. So now the last step is to export our project, right? So go right here, export file. What do you want to go with uh, in the settings or uh, the format will you want to keep that as a computer. The video could like the H264 obviously. So I would choose better quality. And then as I've mentioned before, the ideal uh, resolution for Instagram or TikTok or YouTube shorts is 1080 by 1920, right? So you don't have to touch anything else, right? Uh, you can see that the file is going to be in MP4 and that its size is below 10 megabytes, right? The biggest the file size will be, the more Instagram is going to have to compress it and make your video quality even worse. The bigger, the more it's going to destroy this image quality. And all that remains is for you to upload it, whether it's on Instagram Reels, um, TikTok or YouTube Shorts. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out some of my Reels or just my photography in general, I invite you to go check out my Instagram. The link is going to be in the description below. And you know, just feel free to come say hi. On that note, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.